रामाय राम भद्राय रामचंद्राय वेद से रघुनाथाय नाथाय सीताय पते ए नम युद्ध कांड चैप्टर नंबर हंड्रेड एंड टेन रावण हेड शोन ऑफ द रेसिटेशन बिगिन नाउ All beings stood in confusion and surprise as they beheld this remarkable battle between the two. The cars themselves dashed against each other with frightful speed. The drivers caught the contagion and kept up a mortal fight using their vehicles as weapons. Turning back right and left, round and round, they coursed with the speed of lightning, displayed every trick and mode and feint they knew and it was dreadful to behold. none could follow the course when rama hit ravana and fell back or when ravana returned the compliment with the speed of thought like huge cloud banks during the rains did the cars pour forth a ceaseless torrent of weapons and rang in the sky that was to them the field of battle having thus given a taste of the mastery of the vehicles they stood up against each other again wheel and wheel yoke and yoke axle and axle horses and horses clashed together with dreadful impact rama bent his bow and hit the horses of ravana with four arrows and hurled them back ravana angry beyond words hit rama with keen shafts that passed clean through him but this afflicted him not in the least though ravana put all his force behind it his face did not turn pale Ravana then turned his attention to Matali the driver of Indra and shot dreadful arrows like unto Vajras they passed through his body but caused him no pain nor clouded his brain Rama cared little for his enemy's attack on him but this deliberate sight shot at his driver maddened him and at the same time filled him with shame so he set his heart on his work and caused ravana to seek refuge under the arrowy torrent of 20 30 60 100 thousands with countless arrows did rama hit the car of that ravana unremittingly ravana did not draw back but kept up a never ending attack against rama with club bar bolt and spear the battle that followed was even more terrible and ghastly The seven seas were stirred up through the sounds of the arrowy deluge and of the maces bars bolts and other weapons hurled through the air ceaselessly the very inhabitants of the lower worlds the pannagas danavas and the rest suffered extreme distress the earth the mountains the forests and the woods shook to their very foundations the sun grew dim the air stood still Then the Devas, the Gandharvas, the Siddhas, the Kinnaras, and the Uragas cried, "This is wonderful beyond belief. Neither of the two shows any signs of distress or weariness. They were mightily anxious whether Rama would win, would chop off Ravana's head, and pierce his vitals. Their Devarishis kept up a ceaseless prayer and recitations." May good be with the cows. May the worlds be not destroyed. May Rama defeat Ravana in battle. and thus they kept watchful eyes on the fight gandharvas apsaras came there in groups and beheld that marvelous fight and cried the sky has nothing to compare it with except the sky the ocean has nothing to compare it with except the oceans even so the battle between rama and ravana can only be compared with the battle between rama and ravana then the best and the bravest of the ragu race took up an arrow named shura set it on the string and sent it at ravana with terrible wrath and he brought down the head of the rakshasa ruler with the crown and earrings that graced it the three worlds gazed at it with all their souls but the next moment here was another head at the same place identical with it rama cut away that tail with one of his keen arrows but there was another in its place at once Raghava kept up this game with arrows like under the bolts of Indra and 101 heads lay on the earth one cannot be distinguished from the other in size color shape luster or ornaments and there was no knowing the path to the destruction of the rakshasa nor the end of his long life with the successive decapitation the arrows of rama were athirst during long years to drink the blood of the rakshasa's heart and it was but to fulfill their wishes then rama felt rather anxious and said to himself there is nothing i know not about the qualities of human and divine weapons i have mastered the secrets of discharging them effectively and dealing death to the foe these are the arrows that brought down maricha 
These are the arrows that sent Khar, Dushan, and the clan to meet their fates, that drank the lifeblood of Viradha in the forest of Dandaka, that cut down Kabanda in the Kraunchya forest. These have never failed me till now in battle, but they are utterly powerless against this Ravana. Then he planted in the broad chest of Ravana many a mighty arrow with great care. In his turn, Ravana gave no peace to Rama with a ceaseless attack with maces, bars and other weapons. The heroes were on the Trikuta hill at the beginning of the fight. But in the order of battle, they forgot themselves and ranged over the earth and the sky and on the mountain peaks. Devas, Dhanavas, Yakshas, Pishachas, Nagas and the Rakshasas were eager to witness the dreadful fight kept up ceaselessly through that long night. Not one hour, not one moment in the day or in the night did the battle slacken or cease between Rama and Ravana. Matali, who followed with his soul the changing aspects of the fight, was surprised to see that the Raghuvira did not get better of his foe visibly. The most wise, intelligent, he spoke to Rama now that the moment for it had come. Mangalam Koshilendraya Mahaniya Gunapti Chakravarti Dhanurjaya Sarvabhomaya Mangalam